dear students welcome to my channel main topic of this video is segmentation and sub topic is segmentation based on discontinuities in previous video or part 1 segmentation based discontinuities for point and line is covered and in this video segmentation based on discontinuities for edge is covered now let us start edges are significant local change of intensity in digital image a edge can be defined as set of connected pixel that forms a boundary between two disjoint regions edge detection is a process of identifying and locating this edges it plays a vital role in image processing task such as object recognition segmentation motion analysis and compression and it has application in diverse field like medical imaging autonomous vehicle and robotics however noise varying illumination and complex texture can pose challenges to accurate edge detection and it requires sophisticated algorithms to overcome the hurdle now we'll see the classification of edges edges classification step edge line edge ramp edge and roof edge step edge this step edge define the perfect transition from one segment to another in image intensity abruptly change from one value to different value on opposite side now see this so generally step edges are there in an image when the image is created artificially for example paint brush now here we can see that this is particular gray level and this is the particular gray level and this is a transition between that gray level now we can see that this value at the lower side so we will see this all values are 10 10 10 and continuously constant value so this area again the smooth region that is low frequency region but after that there is a transition that is transition is nothing but 10 to 230 so this darker portion immediately becomes a brighter portion because of this transition so this is nothing but the high frequency signal and after that one it goes to the higher values again that higher values are continuous so we can see that edge is there that is nothing but the darker portion and the brighter portion and this is nothing but the change in intensity next is a line edge if a segment of an image is very narrow the it necessarily has two edges in close proximity now see this is one intensity this is the same intensity so this is again low frequency region this is low frequency region but there are two transitions are there that is low to high again that high is continuous that is low frequency and again there is from high to low value transition so this 10 to 230 is nothing but this and from 230 to 10 so two high frequency regions are present 10 to 230 and 230 to 10 and three low frequency regions are there this 10 this 230 and 10 so this is nothing but the line edge that is the two edges are in the close proximity third is nothing but the ramp edge so when we take the photos with camera so generally ramp edge comes into the picture a ramp allows for smoother transition between the segments a ramp edge is useful for modeling the blurred edges created from sampling scene containing the objects now see we can see that here there is a smooth transition for example if we see this intensity as 10 and this intensity is 230 so there is not abruptly change like previous images but that that change is smoother that is from 10 to it goes 15 20 25 30 90 and after that it will goes to the higher values roof edge two nearby ramp edges result in a line structure called roof basically there are two types of roof edges one is convex and second is convex concave so this is the structure of convex and this is the structure of the concave now what are the causes for edges edges can be created by shadows texture and geometry so when we take the picture and in uh, or when we capture the picture so at that time the result of shadow texture and geometry is nothing but the edge edge detection detectors on measuring the intensity gradient at a point in an image so for edge detection mask or for edge detection we are using the mask which is based on the gradient or derivative operation and the basic idea is computation of local derivative operator so local local derivative is nothing but we are taking in a close approximately the difference between the values now see this image so this is very important to understand from the segmentation point of perspective now see these two image patches are given 
so one patch is nothing but dark then bright and then dark and second patch is brighter then darker and then brighter so first is nothing but their intensity profile now here intensity profile means this is a dark portion then it will from darker it moves to brighter so this is a transition again brighter continuous and from brighter again darker is there so this is a brighter then from brighter it changes to the darker and then darker continue and from darker it will change to the brighter so this transition is there and in this way so for simplicity we can represent like this also for example see 10 10 10 that is darker then 100 100 100 that is brighter and then again it will change to the 10 10 10 so this is nothing but the intensity profile and this is with the help of values so it is very easy to understand next we are taking uh, the second image profile intensity profile so 100 100 100 then it goes to the 10 10 10 and again it moves to the 100 value so this and this is nothing but the intensity profile so sometimes it is difficult to understand from this graph but it is very easy to understand from the image so this is the intensity profile for the first and this is the intensity profile for the second now we will calculate the first and second derivative so first i will explain by this way and after that we will see this particular diagram now first order derivative so here we always calculate at the local level so we are taking the derivative or gradient operator is nothing but just difference between the adjacent values now we will take the difference between the second value minus the first value now here we don't go for the botheration about the uh, edge pixels or the border pixel now simply to understand the concept we are taking this 10 minus 10 difference is 0 this 10 minus 10 difference is 0 10 minus 10 is 0 now we can find out that this is a low frequency region and as the intensity constant so no question of age so we are getting 0 0 0 now there is an abrupt change from 10 to 100 so when we subtract 100 10 from the 100 that is 100 minus 10 we are getting the 90 again 100 minus 100 difference is 0 then 10 minus 100 we are getting 90 so we are getting the first derivative like this so constant uh, we are getting 0 that's why the constant of the derivative is 0 so we are getting 0 here there is a transition so there is a peak and positive peak is there then again constant area 0 and again 10 minus 100 so this is nothing but the minus 90 so we will see this image now see this region is a constant so we are getting the derivative as a constant and after that there this is the change that is from here it will goes to here so we are getting the derivative as a peak value and again that derivative again that constant area comes so here this is a transition so here we get the derivative as the highest value that is nothing but 90 but after that again this white region is there that is continuous same similar region is there so we are again getting the derivative zero so it will goes down and we are getting like this and after that we are getting this continuous constant and after that minus 90 so it will goes like this and after that for after 9 minus 90 again we have the darker region so it will again goes to the constant that is 0 0 so so here this is nothing but 0 this 0 this plus peak 90 then again, again constant 0 then minus 90 and then again 0 so this is nothing but the first order derivative for the second image this is the second image brighter portion then darker portion and then brighter portion so here we are getting 0 then 10 minus 100 minus 90 again for this similar portion we are getting 0 this 100 minus 10 is 90 so we are getting like this now we can check this is the image so here we are getting 0 see this constant region we are getting 0 now here there is a change from bright to darker so we are getting the derivative as negative value so that's why it is minus 90 but after minus 90 again this region is constant so again we are getting the derivative 0 so it will comes here and after that again there is a peak is there that is 100 minus 10 is 90 so again it will goes to the up like this so in this way we are getting the first order derivative now so the magnitude of the first derivative can be used to detect an age because this is nothing but the detected this here the age is there here age is there here age is there and here age is there now we can go for the second order derivative so second order derivative is positive for that part of the transition associated with the 
dark side of the age and negative part of the transition associated with the light side of the age and zero in the area of constant gray level so this will be explained well with the example hence magnitude of the first derivative can be used to detect the presence of an age in the image and the sign of second derivative can be used to determine whether the age pixel lie on the dark or light side of an image now we'll see again the example how to calculate the second derivative now this is our first portion of the image that is the dark then bright and then dark we already calculated the first order derivative now we are calculating again the second order derivative so we are taking the difference between 0 0 that comes as 0 then 90 minus 0 is 90 and 0 minus 90 is 90 so we can see that plus 90 and minus 90 is present so here it will show that when we are going from darker to brighter region so here darker to brighter so initially our derivative is uh, positive and after that uh, for brighter region derivative is negative so again derivative becomes constant for this region and here again it becomes minus 90 and plus 90 because we are going from brighter region to the darker region so for brighter region to darker region initially is minus 90 from the brighter side and from the darker side it is plus 90 so this shaded area is called what zero crossing so this is nothing but the area of zero crossing now we'll see this is the first order derivative and here the second order derivative so the second derivative second order derivative is calculated from the first order derivative now here we can see that uh, here this is a constant so we are getting the constant but for this peak value that is plus 90 here we are getting the two peaks that is one is the plus peak and this is the minus peak so plus 90 and minus 90 because we are taking the difference between 900 and again 0 90 so we are getting 90 minus 90 so we are getting the positive peak when we are going from darker to brighter and we are getting negative peak when we are changing from the other side so in this way we are getting this and this is for the second image so for the second image so this is the first order derivative so when we are taking this we are getting minus 90 and similarly we are getting the 0 minus minus 90 is plus 90 so in this way we are getting the second order derivative and here we can see that either you can understand from this diagram or you can easily understand from the this number value so again we are getting 0 then negative then positive then again constant then positive and negative so in this way the first order derivative and second order derivative is calculated so first order derivative is generally used to find out the age presence of the age and second order derivative is that that which is the darker portion and which is the brighter portion so sign of the second derivative is generally used now for gradient operator that is nothing but differentiation we are taking simply difference between the adjacent values a gradient is two dimensional vector that points to the direction in which image intensity grows fastest the gradient operator is given by dy by dy by x and dy by dy by y because our image is two dimensional so we are calculating with respect to x and y and the edge strength is given by the gradient magnitude so that is nothing but square root of dy by x by dy by x square plus dy by dy by y square and the direction of the gradient is given by tan inverse of dy by x by dy by x divided by dy by x by dy by y now edge strength and edge direction edge strength is nothing but the magnitude of the gradient and edge direction is nothing but the equal to the angle of the gradient so we can find out that where the edge is inclined properties of the gradient the magnitude of gradient provides information about the strength of the edge the direction of the gradient is always perpendicular to the direction of the edge edge detection using the first order derivative now initially we can go for the first order derivative then second order derivative so first order derivative we are calculating the difference that is simply difference between the adjacent values the derivative of digital pixel can be defined in terms of difference the first derivative of an image containing the gray values pixel must fulfill the following condition it must be zero in flat segment and we already seen that when the intensity values are constant the difference we are getting the zero that is in the area of constant gray level values it must be non-zero 
at the beginning of gray level step or ramp and it must be non zero along the ramp so this is nothing but the important property so there is a change uh, from one level to another so always the derivative can be positive or negative or if we take the absolute value so it will indicate that ages is present if an image is a function of two variable that is f of x y below equation only refers to the partial derivative along the x axis this is nothing but the equation pixel disk continuity can be determined along eight possible direction such as up down left right and along the four diagonals the other method of calculating the first order derivative is given by estimating the finite difference so we are taking this value because we are taking the difference between the adjacent values so our h is equal to 1 so we are simply calculating dab i by dab x is equal to f of x plus 1 minus f of x and in all previous example we did the same that is we are taking the difference between the adjacent value so therefore our h is 1 now the instead of this equation we are using simply that is difference and here we can vary the value of h but for uh, uh, if we take the adjacent difference so here the h becomes 1 so this is the value for uh, when h is 1 so it is actually x plus 1 comma y and this is nothing but x y plus 1 so in this way we are calculating the derivative so this is all about the how we can use the gradient operator for edge detection and in the next video i am going to explain all the operators which is used for the edge detection and mainly they are the first order derivative operator thank you